This is what I look for today. I'm rocking my bold red lips. This is the NYX soft matte lip cream in um, Monte Carlo. If you heard that loud music in the background, it's my mom messing with the radio. My mama's getting married. That's right. Woohoo! Yeah, you Mama's can't. truly happy. You can't see her makeup, but I'll show it to you later. Yeah, guys, she did a fantastic she, job. She came to my house very late. So I did not have time to record me doing her makeup because I was in a rush, but she looks very pretty. Look, this is my mom running because we are definitely late as usual. And I am trying to navigate through this grass in hills and soft grass. Clearly that doesn't mix. This is where they're getting married in the Buffalo Botanical Gardens. My mom has to put her shoes on. <laughs> oh, then I can look in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mirror. So this is the room that my mom and Daniel are getting married in. And here's a little sign. It's cute. <laughs> I guess those are bubbles. Okay, Daniel, so any last words? <laughs> Uh, nope. This is it. <laughs> this is it. That's it. We've locked the doors. There is no turning back. There is no turning back. Full steam ahead. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Awesome. Take the bit of the sweet. Be thou honored, the honored guest, and look upon this union of today, O God, with thy providence, so that they may be truly and eternally joined together by the Holy Ghost. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 I'll charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God, to remember that true love and faithful observance of your marriage vow are required as a foundation of a successful marriage and the establishment of a happy and enduring home. Without these, there can be no real marriage, and the home which you will endeavor to establish will be a vain effort. Keep the solemn vow that you are about to take and live with tender consideration for each other. Conduct your lives in honesty and in truth, and your marriage will last. Your vows. Do you take this woman to be your wedded wife? And do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and that forsaking all others, for her alone, you will perform unto her all the respect that a husband owes to his wife until God by death shall separate you. I will. <laughs> Debbie, same. 
you take this man to be your wedded husband. And do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love him, comfort him, honor and obey him in sickness and in health, and that forsaking all others, for him will perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes to her husband until God by death shall separate you, and you will answer. Who gives it to you? You've already given it away. You just acknowledge it by the raising of your hand. I do. I do. All right. Therefore, since it is an agreement of Daniel and Debbie to be husband and wife, you're going to join right hands and you're going to repeat after me before God and these witnesses your marriage vows. However, I will vow that you have. That you want to make statements together? I do. Before him? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Daniel? You turn and you will face her. And face each other. God has blessed us to remain together for 11 years. My love for you, I vow to go to eternity, having you fully secured in my love. Daniel, with you, I find the warmth of understanding, caring words to cheer me when I'm down, the support I need when life gets too demanding, encouragement for things I plan to do. With you, I found contentment and fulfillment a closeness based on trust and honesty. I need you and I love you. With you is where I want to be. Thank you. As we take these vows, Daniel, take thee, Debbie. Can we be able to say I, Daniel. I, Daniel. Take thee, Debbie. Take thee, Debbie. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold to have and to hope. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And to love and to cherish. And to love and to cherish. To death do us part. To death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too. And there too. I pledge thee my faith. <clears throat> I pledge thee my faith. Faith. Right. You turn to Daniel. I Debbie. I Debbie. Take thee Daniel. Take thee Daniel. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And there too I pledge thee and my faith. And there too I pledge thee my faith. All right, do we have these rings are the symbol of their love, and the symbol of their coming together in the unity. And we place them and we bring them together and bond them through the wings. Amen? Amen. token and in, in pledge of our constant faith and abiding love, with this ring, I be with, with this ring, 
with this ring. ID with it. ID with it. Hold his hold, hold hands right there. Hold his right there. In the name of the Father and Son. In the name of the Father and yes, Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And you will place his ring. And you likewise. Holy Ghost. With this ring, I be with. With this ring, I be with. In the name of the Father and Son. In the name of the Father and Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Amen. Okay. For as much as Daniel and Debbie have considered together the holy wedlock and have witnessed this uh, the same. Before God and in this company, of all of you here, and thereto have pledged their faith, each to one another, have declared the same by joining hands and giving and receiving the rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And those whom God has joined together. Let no man put aside. Let us put it in our Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, and thy holy name. Our Lord, our Lord, our And give us this day, God, this new way. And give us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Forgive us our debts. We forgive our debts. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from all evil, the God of the kingdom, and power and glory forever and ever. Amen. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord, with his favor, smile upon you both. And you will forever, with all spiritual benediction, that you love and live. So in the life that the world to come in may have life everlasting. Amen. Turn and you face your audience. You may salute the bride. Daniel, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel and Debbie McClain. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Give them an applause. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh my God. That's it. Choose yours now. She snuck in, but you, you weren't looking. Oh, y'all got Oh, congratulations! Oh, no. oh my gosh. My arm is so tired. Yeah. I'm just videoing, so. I, I, can only, I can only use one. <laughs> I need some tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmother shoes. Yeah. She's here. Yeah. Aww. You guys look so cute. My cousin wants to catch the bouquet, so he can be the next to get married. Okay, I'm just kidding. What wise words do you have for Debbie and Daniel? Well, I'm happy they're united, and this is a union that only God could create. They're both special people, and I love them both dearly. Okay. Um, it's a piece of happiness to everybody. Wonderful. So poetic. So Ray, what wise words do you have for Debbie and Daniel? Wise words is uh, communication, love, 
Uh, commitment. Okay. Commitment. Get you through anything. You know, um, Kelvin and Deb, I love both of them. Uh, especially Deb. You know, put up with my best friend. He's a good fellow. Mm -hmm. Got a good heart. Smile all the time. Deb, remember this though. You know, every smile is a set of teeth. <laughs> Right. Remember, Ray said that. <laughs> hey, Dad, Talk to one another. Talking is basically the key. You gotta communicate with one another, and it lasts. I mean, we didn't get to 36 years for nothing. Wow, yeah. you're a vet. So, nice. Yeah. Nice. So we wish you just wish the best for the both of them. I love them both. Awesome. Woohoo! Look at this happy guy. I know. Awesome. <laughs> Communication. Communication is the number one thing I believe in a relationship. Communication. Because if you have communication, you can have everything. Without communication, you can't get anywhere. So that's the number one thing. Communication and then love and respect. Awesome. Good advice. <laughs> what words of advice do you have for Debbie and Dale? For Debbie and Kevin? Mm -hmm. Lots of prayer. <laughs> Lots of prayer and communication. So my words of advice is, I guess luck. Luck, happiness. <laughs> you know, I'm always the funny guy, you know that, so. <laughs> what? That's my job, George. We're going to have to flip a coin over it or something. Uh, okay, so what advice do you, do you have for the bride and groom? Uh -huh. That they will always stay always. together. Mm -hmm. So, Never let anything say. When we leave here, if we want to, we can go marry in the yeah. Lord in the mm -hmm. due season. Yeah. And then when this is their harvest time, yeah. and their marriage is a miracle of God, yeah. and they will have, they have an eternal marriage, not just a regular marriage. Uh. <laughs> so there's the riding room, and there's all of Daniel Stanley. Now our family and my grandma. You guys look so cute. Yeah. And they just rushed back from a cruise. <laughs> so, <laughs> change clothes. Y'all look great though, y'all look great. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you, what words of wisdom do you have for the bride and groom? Love, cherish, and respect, and honor God. Keep God first. And he'll make all things possible. Great advice. So what advice do you have for the bride it takes two, that, not it. three. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's from my grandma Ann, Mama uh, Ann. Okay. That's my grandma. Okay. <laughs> I would say to the bride and groom to love each other, respect each other, trust each other, and always be there for each other. That's great advice. How many years have you been married? 66 years. What? That's twice as long as I've been alive, so I'm going to trust everything you say. Okay. <laughs>